September 6, 2014, from Matusa Stadium in Eugene, Oregon. It's the number seven ranked Michigan State Spartans versus the number three ranked Oregon Ducks. And what a game this was. Defense was at a premium early on in the first quarter as both teams traded punts. But then with less than six minutes left in the first quarter, Eric Dargan intercepted Connor Cook. He returned it 36 yards, which set up Oregon on the Michigan State Spartans 39. And moments later, they would score the first points of the game as Thomas Tyner had a one-yard touchdown run. And that made it 8 to nothing after the two-point conversion was good for the pass to DeForest Buckner. So it was 8 to nothing in the first quarter. Then in the second quarter, these two teams went off with an offensive explosion. It started off with a 28-yard field goal from Matt Wogan that made it 11 to nothing Ducks. Then Jeremy Langford scored on a 16-yard touchdown run to put the Spartans' first points of the game on the board and cut the lead to four as it was now 11 to 7. Oregon responded with a 70-yard touchdown pass from Marcus Moriata to Devin Allen, and the score was now 18 to 7. Michigan State then scored a field goal, a 34-yarder from Michael Geiger, and the score was now 18 to 10. Then Michigan State scored a touchdown as Tony Lippick had a seven-yard pass catch from Connor Cook, and the score was now 18 to 17, and it was a one-point game at this point. And then just before halftime, with only 18 seconds left on the clock, Connor Cook threw a second touchdown of the game this time to Josiah Price, a seven-yard pass that gave the Spartans their first lead of the game and put them up by six points at 24 to 18, heading into the locker rooms at halftime. Then to start off the scoring in the third quarter, Michael Geiger got his second field goal of the game. This time it was a 42-yard field goal. The score was now 27-18, Michigan State. The Ducks then scored a touchdown. It was Marcus Mariata to Devin Allen as they connected for the second time, this time for 24 yards, as they cut the Michigan State Spartans' lead to two as the score was now 27-25. But then with just a minute 34 left in the third, Marcus Mariata threw his third touchdown pass of the game, this time to give the Ducks the lead by five at 32 to 27 as he connected with Kenan Lowe on a 37-yard touchdown pass. Then the Ducks continued to score unanswered points as Royce Freeman had a 38-yard touchdown run, which would put the Ducks up 39 to 27 as they now took a 12-point lead. They scored their third unanswered touchdown of the game. So the Spartans then ended up going for it. They took a chance. They went for it on fourth and two, and Jeremy Langford was shut down as the Ducks defense came up huge and they held them as the Spartans were coming in. They were on the Oregon's 24, and the defense held. Oregon got the ball back. They had to punt. And now Michigan State had the ball once again, but this time it was Ifu Ekpri Olamu who intercepted Connor Cook for his second interception of the game to give the Ducks back the ball. And they took full advantage of that as Royce Freeman scored another touchdown, this time a 14-yard run. And the Ducks were now up 46-27 to as they took a 19-point lead with 1 minute and 25 seconds left in the game. And that would be the final score as the Ducks ended up running away with this one as they scored four unanswered touchdowns in the second half to win by 19 points. So the Ducks come from behind to win as they beat the Spartans in Oregon. And what a game it was. Just This game got really crazy really quick as those Ducks are very explosive on offense. And once they get momentum and start rolling, they're hard to stop. Marcus Mariata was 17 for 28 with 318 yards through the air with three passing touchdowns. Connor Cook was 29 for 47 for the Spartans, throwing for 343 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. Those interceptions were very costly for the Spartans. 
Jeremy Langford ran for 86 yards for MSU off of 24 carries, and he had a touchdown. Royce Freeman had 89 yards on the ground for the Oregon Ducks off of 13 carries. And Marcus Mariota ran for 42 yards off of nine carries. Freeman, by the way, had two touchdowns on the ground, and Thomas Tyner had the third touchdown on the ground for the Ducks. Devin Allen had 110 yards receiving for the Ducks off of three catches, along with the two touchdowns. So two of his three catches were for touchdowns. And Keenan Lowe had the other touchdown through the air. As the Ducks scored six touchdowns, three on the ground, and three through the air. Tony Lippitt had 133 yards for the Spartans off 11 receptions, and he caught a touchdown. Josiah Price caught the other touchdown for the Spartans. He had 51 yards and five catches. R.J. Sheldon had four catches for 58 yards for the Spartans. And over on the Oregon side, Darren Carrington had 66 yards off of two receptions. Those interceptions really made the difference as Eric Dargon intercepted Connor Cook to lead to the first score of the game that put the Ducks up. And then late in the game, Ekpre Olamu, hopefully I'm saying that right, probably not, I apologize, but he got the interception late in the game that pretty much sealed the deal. Devin Allen, by the way, had 69 yards off of three kick returns to go along with his yards through the air, the 110 receiving yards that he had. And R.J. Shelton had 126 yards off of five kick returns for the Spartans. So a lot of offense in Oregon. As the Ducks racked up the points. The Spartans had the lead, but they couldn't hold on. As the Ducks come from behind and win this one 46-27.